and come and 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 is I <laughs> yo guys what are you saying it's your boy Moyo and we're back with another video I hope you're smiling I hope you're having a good day now let's get it obviously you've read the title and you know what's going on I'm giving you my honest opinion on my university experience also I'm answering that vital question that always keeps getting asked to me is uni really worth it I'm gonna break this up into little sections and I'm gonna try and make this as snappy as possible so I get to every single point without dragging it like I know you guys are not here to be watching a 20 minute video about university like I'm gonna just give you my honest experience opinions and then pew, straight to the point i'm gonna break it into five sections uni work lectures social life finances and then i'm gonna give you my opinion whether uni is worth it or not before i get into it make sure you give this video a like comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe we're trying to hit 50,000 by the end of the year i'm like nearly at 15k right now so much love to you lot Follow me on all my socials, it's at your boy Moyo everywhere. Let's get into it. Uni work. Now, I did business management and marketing with a year's placement. I've graduated with a 2 1. I was 2% off at first. I'm still pissed off to this day, but let's not talk about that. Now, uni work. I can only really speak for people that do my type of work, my type of course. You understand? Business is quite. I say chilled out compared to the rest. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think uni work in general is quite easy if you do it right. Remember, not all courses are the same, but there's a lot of courses out there which majority of the work is coursework, especially now that we're in a pandemic or pandemic or Panasonic, whatever you wanna call it. And like, it's not just coursework that's given to you that two weeks before the deadline, like you get this coursework like probably eight weeks in advance. I think every year I got the assignment given to me in like October and it was due in December. So you had plenty of time to do it. Did I use them eight weeks? No, no. I didn't I didn't. I definitely waited to the last week or the last like three days before the deadline, but it's life. Doing it that way anyway gives yourself a bit more excitement, you know what I mean? Gives yourself a bit of a boost. But yeah, the work, quite simple. You also got to remember first year does not count. Like it does not count. It's dependent on your course. Let me keep saying that so you guys don't now fail your first year and then blame it on me, please. <laughs> Yeah, don't blame it on me. Doesn't mean you should not try, but it means that you can play about more. You can enjoy yourself a bit more, you understand? Oh, don't message me when I'm talking to the people. <laughs> You could play around a bit more. You could enjoy your life at uni a bit more. You understand? All you need to do is pass the year and you're sorted. The next two years after that, or three, or four, it counts. <laughs> Jumping over to group work. I told you lot, I'm doing this real quick for you. I want to get snappy straight to the point. Group work is where everything just goes left. Out of the four years I did uni, I was not able to pick my group once. Not once. So you get given a group to you. Now DP, you're doing a course with hundreds, sometimes thousands of people doing the same thing as you. You're going to get randomly picked and put in a group of three to five people. Trouble. Generally speaking, I actually like working in a group. I feel like it's fun, like I, it's something a bit different. But then when you get bums, when you get given bums, when people don't want to do work, that's when it gets techy. <laughs> if anyone's actually gone through uni without having some sort of bum in their group, then you know what? You're a special being. If you want a comparison between uni work and A-levels, uh, uni work wins. Uni work is 10 times easier, 10 times better than this A-level miserable depressing let's not even get there and lastly do not buy your uni books from the university either use the library or find them online i spent 160 pounds on five business books that was suggested to me by the lecturer did i open it once no did it help me in any way no we're gonna just move past that because that 160 pound i'm not getting it back all right topic two lectures mm, i can't really speak too much on this because i did not go <laughs> no i'm being dead serious my attendance for like the three years i was in university was probably less than 10 percent yeah. <laughs> but don't get it twisted though, I'm not a dumb kid. I just didn't find a reason why I needed to go. I think out of all the lecturers that taught me, well, or tried to, uh, there's only one that I actually believed was a good lecturer, a good teacher, a good like, yeah. <laughs> How I dealt with it is, when the course gets introduced to you, you go to the first three lectures of that course. If the first three are not banging, I will not go again. <laughs> But this ain't a uni advice video, this is just my experience, so let me talk about that. I stopped going because 95% of the lecturers were just reading off the board. I could do that at home. I did that at home. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure 98% of the universities in the UK, they give you your lectures before you even get into them. So before going actually into your lecture hall to get taught by your lecturer, you're given all the slides online. So... 
what are you doing? So I just felt, what's the need for me to go inside? Obviously, first year, the first like month and a half, I was going to my lectures. Half of these are not speaking clear English, so I'm not really actually understanding what's going on. And the other half are just reading from the board. So what's different? Exactly. By the way, if you came here thinking I'm just going to have a 10, 15 minute video of me bashing university, that is definitely not the case. There's many good points in university and there's many bad points. I'm just here to bring it together and show you what happened with me. All right, section number three, social life. Now, this is where the bread is really breading. This is where the sweets are really sweetened. This is where the math is really mathing. Social life at university, top tier. Amazing. 10 out of 10. I cannot fault social life at uni. If you have any pros to go into university, I'll say social life is top. It's top and it's not just top because you get to enjoy yourself it generally sets you up for after you leave university because some people go into university with social skills like a fish you, you're just there blobbing about and then you leave like confident chilled out get to talk to random people like you're good you're good socializing you make lifelong friends like family friends like you're living with these people remember that but i'm not gonna lie to you there are many many booky booky people and for you people that don't understand what i'm talking about there's many iffy people many snaky people many people that you need to stay away from that will probably bite you as well but you just it's part of the process so it's not all hunky-dory with the social life but majority of it is Plus, I'll say the only other downside of the social life aspect of university is that sometimes it can get lonely. Now with people like me, I don't mind because I like my own space sometimes, yeah? I don't mind going, I'll chill with people, I'll socialize and then I need a place to just chill. I'll sit by myself, I'll, be, I'll happily, I can entertain myself, that's not a problem. But for some other people, it's harder uh, and I understand that. So yeah, uni can get lonely sometimes, but in general, I say social life is top tier. Next, we're gonna talk about finances. You see this? <laughs> get rid of it <laughs> yeah when we're talking about finances we just forget it <laughs> now majority of people when talking about university talk about how quick your money goes uh they're not lying <laughs> you see this when you're at university imagine this is your money it just goes <laughs> At one point during university, you're gonna go broke. I don't care how good you are with your money, you're gonna go broke. Listen, I'm fantastic with money. I've been budgeting since the age of 16. I'm just good with money in general. Oh, there were some very low points at university though. At uni, things just pop up. They pop up so quickly and unexpectedly, you'll end up paying for stuff that you didn't even plan to pay for. At the start of university, I was thinking, cool, student finance has got me. They shagged me. They gave me bare minimum. Okay, but that don't cover rent. So what am I doing now? Now, if you're one of the lucky ones where your student finance does cover your rent, uh, then you have little money to spend for the whole year. Unless you've worked beforehand or you get mummy and daddy's money, which is what majority have to do. First year, I remember first year, I probably went in there thinking, oh yeah, I spent everything I need to spend. I'm fine. I won't have to spend much money. Okay, tell me why in the first week of uni, I think I spent that like 500 pounds. Probably even more. Gym memberships, uni books, sport memberships, uh, social memberships, everything. Membership, membership, membership. Do this, do this, do this. Library printer money, this and that. Everything just kept coming at my account. So expect to be broke at some points during university. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even have this written down, but at the same time, a lot of people find themselves business-wise throughout uni. You'll find a lot of people actually make their businesses during university and then, yeah, it either thrives or it fails. But majority I've seen when I was at uni, yeah, just thrived and become big things. So yeah, that's the good thing about it. But other than that, just expect to be broke. All right, this is the final section and it's probably what majority of you guys came to hear from me. Is university actually worth it? Yes. <laughs> In my opinion, I genuinely think university is worth it. The life skills you learn, the lessons you learn are probably the best thing that come out of it. The degree, yeah. Yay, we got a degree. That's not even, I won't even say degree is the top two things that come out of uni. I say, I'll say it's the life lessons and skills at the top. Friends that you make that are family, second, and then I'll say it's your degree after that. <laughs> but genuinely, uh, I think university is worth it. Uh, would I say you have to go or would I tell you you should go? No, I will say, listen, assess your situation, assess what you're trying to get into and then decide whether university is best for you. You. it's not the best option for everyone let's be honest and not the best option for every course especially now that the panoramic or the pandemic should i say ever since that came around businesses are now looking more for people with experience rather than people with papers so if you're to go to university i would suggest do a placement year in whatever course you're doing so you have at least one year's experience on your cv and that gets you the paper and the experience that's my suggestion uni is it worth it yes uni should i go depending on your situation yeah
I know people that did on, I know people that did online courses and apprenticeships that are in a much better English is hard, my gosh. <laughs> I know people that did a situation, I said situationships, my gosh, this is not an entanglement. I know people that went through apprenticeships and online courses and are in a much better situation than a lot of us uni students are after we graduated, regardless of your grade. I know people with first class, top, top first class students, they still haven't got a job now. Like, it's a tough, tough world right now. Boy. It's tough. Like I said, I'm not even trying to ramble on. That is what you guys came for. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're going to university in September, good luck to you. If you're planning to do an apprenticeship, good luck to you. Um, yeah, man, go out and enjoy yourself. If 2020 and 2021 didn't teach you anything, make sure it taught you that life is short and experience and enjoy it as much as possible. So listen, it's been your boy Moyo. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. I'm doing challenges very soon, so you get me? I'm gonna come outside with the camera. I'm doing a bit of vlogging. I'm doing blah, 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 blah. You're not even trying to hear any of that. Just see you later <laughs> in a bit. Much love.